10 Absolutely Insane Facts About Weather on Different Planets Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, Smart is the New Sexy will tell you about the weather on other planets that can present a significant obstacle to future travel plans. What fun it is cuddling up inside under a blanket to watch a movie or take a nap while the thunder booms and the rain beats a lullaby on the roof. If you think the weather on Earth can be bad at times, keep watching to learn what the weather on other planets has in store for you. Epic Planet Encircling Storms on Saturn Giant storms on Saturn are known as Great White Spots. They stretch across the planet and each is about the size of our planet. On Earth, about 16 million thunderstorms happen every year. On Saturn, they don't happen all that often. Only six have been observed in the past 140 years. But when they do occur, they are spectacular. The new research suggests that water vapor in Saturn's atmosphere might be what suppresses these giant storms from developing for decades. Orange gas storms in the Sagittarius constellation. Sagittarius is the largest constellation in the Southern Hemisphere and the 15th largest constellation overall. The constellation has many bright stars and is visible with the naked eye. A hotbed of star formation, also known as Messier 17 or the Omega or Swan Nebula, is located there. It rains solid diamonds on Uranus and Neptune. It's a well-known fact that the extreme pressures in the planet's interiors might split molecules into atoms of hydrogen and carbon, the latter of which then crystallize to form diamonds. Neptune and Uranus are 17 and 15 times the mass of Earth, respectively, and their oceans are crushed by pressures millions of times more intense than the air pressure at Earth's sea level. Lightning storms turn methane into carbon, which, as it falls, hardens into chunks of graphite. By a depth of 6,000 kilometers, these chunks of falling graphite toughen into diamonds. In the most extreme depths, solid diamonds can't stand the pressures and become liquid. 1,000 tons of diamonds a year are being created on Uranus and Neptune. Explosions in the Venus's sky The atmosphere of Venus is very hot and thick. You would not survive a visit to the surface of the planet. You would burn up in temperatures high enough to melt lead. Not exactly a great vacation spot. The atmosphere of Venus is made up mainly of carbon dioxide, and thick clouds of sulfuric acid completely cover the planet. This composition causes a runaway greenhouse effect that heats the planet even hotter than the surface of Mercury, although Venus lies farther from the Sun. Winds of about 224 miles per hour keep the clouds of Venus in constant motion, but it's not a cool summer breeze. It's a burning hot hurricane. It rains sulfuric acid and snows metal. Scientists also found out that Venus is exposed to extremely massive weather explosions, sometimes multiple times per day. Jupiter's storm. We all know it as the Great Red Spot. The biggest storm in the solar system, or maybe in space, rages with sustained wind speeds from 270 to 425 miles per hour. It's the most ferocious cyclone ever recorded in space. Scientists discover the howling monster storm penetrates 200 miles below the surface of its atmosphere. Gravitational and acoustic waves produced by the storm heated up to 2,420 Fahrenheit. Plus, it's almost 700 Fahrenheit hotter than the rest of Jupiter's atmosphere. However, the scary supermassive storm is shrinking. Scientists call it the Great Red Spot, but they're not sure why it's red. Some of them claim that ammonia-filled clouds create a deep red color at its surface. Megastorms on Uranus in 2014, scientists discovered the unexplained rash of extreme storms on the normally placid planet. Using the Hubble Space Telescope, a team found multiple giant storms extending more than 5,592 miles across. Such weather changes caught scientists completely off guard. Since there is no internal heat source for these storms on the planet, these cloud activities were thought to be driven solely by sunlight. Ice Volcanoes on Saturn's Moon Enceladus Ice geysers were discovered at geologically young, warm structures in the icy moon's southern polar region. Such volcanoes shoot radioactive ice into the sky at the rate of 1,400 miles per hour. 
After eruption, cryomagma is expected to condense to a solid form when exposed to the very low surrounding temperature. Volcanic activity is now known to exist in three bodies in our solar system, Enceladus, Earth, and Jupiter's moon Io. Mars Multicolor Sunsets Since Mars' atmosphere is really thin, its sky is not blue at all. Just before the sun rises in the morning, you can see the deep blue sky, but as it moves up the horizon, the hue of the sky will turn pinkish red. Mars often appears reddish due to the fact that its surface is comprised of iron-rich minerals that essentially rust. The coldest moon in the solar system. One of 13 moons of Neptune, Triton, is considered to be the coldest place in the whole solar system. Its surface temperatures of around minus 391 Fahrenheit. Just try to imagine the following fact. The lowest temperature when atoms stop moving is 1 Kelvin, or minus 460 Fahrenheit. The planet has a lot of ice volcanoes, or cryovolcanoes, that spit ice and ammonia into space. Pluto's weather. Pluto and the other minor planets in the outermost reaches of the solar system share similar meteorological conditions. Though information about these distant worlds is limited, observations suggest they have thin, relatively calm atmospheres above fields of nitrogen and methane ice. Temperatures range below minus 378 Fahrenheit. We hope you enjoyed this video and hope that you'll give us a like if you think we deserve it. If you want to get notified when we release a new video, click the subscribe button.